All right. Hi, MTV. I didn't see you there. Well, welcome to my crib. <laughs> You know, a lot of people ask me all the time, how can someone so young afford a place like this, you know, on a freelancer's salary? And the answer is simple, I squatted. So, all right, let's go look in our salon. So this is the salon. This is where I do all my sitting, my reading, my writing, my thinking about having money. Happens here. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I do love reading. I've actually started reading a couple books to get me acclimated to this new lifestyle. Uh, things like the biography of Marie Antoinette and Bourgeoisie Weekly. Very good stuff. Um, if you're trying to live a certain, you know, certain life. Very helpful. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you my headphones. So as a chateau owner, I am a patron of the arts. I really love supporting artists. I pay them in exposure. It's very, very profitable for me and very rewarding for them. So it's a really good program, good system that I have set up here. So these are our studio spaces where we house all our artists. It's been pretty great for them. I'm sure they love it. I'm gonna show you my favorite spot in the whole house. Let's go. This is my favorite spot in the entire, the entire chateau. I love the countryside. I love being able to look out over my entire property and know that I'm fabulously wealthy. And this is the landscape that I get to wake up to every day. I don't have to maintain it myself, which is part of the appeal. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty charmed life. It wouldn't be cribs if I didn't do a costume change. Had to keep it fresh for you guys. You know, I like to mix it up. And here we are entering our dining salon. I am very popular and loved by many people, so I do need a very large space in which to have my meals, just in case, you know, one of my millions of friends comes over. The best part of today and every day here at the Chateau is baguette bus o'clock. It's when we get our fresh breads delivered um, from a local bakery. As a celebrity, you can imagine I love and value my isolation from what I like to call regular people. So having things delivered to me like this, it's like Instacart, but like cuter. It's great. Like I said, I always have a lot of people coming over, so I do have a massive amount of bread that I lay out just in case someone decides to pop in for breakfast. So, croissants, anyone? This is our dungeon area. It's where I keep all my wine, but it's also where I keep people if they wear all black to my all white party. Yep, this is where we keep our C-list celebrities. And this is where I keep my wine. We won't go in today, but you get the idea. So I wanna show you guys my favorite bathroom in the whole house. We have a lot of bathrooms, but this one's really, really nice. You're gonna love it. Let's go. So these floors are actually authentic 18th century flooring. Yeah, get a little of that creak. Yeah, that's authentic, baby. Also, I really love this, this bathroom because we have these custom Italian stone 
straight from Lowe's, very authentic. And ugh, these photos over here, you're gonna love these. These photos are from my friend Annie Leibovitz. I don't know if you know her. She's kind of a little well-known art well artist that, I don't know, she was just doing a little gig on the side and she just sent this my way, it's pretty great. I also really love this tub, it's so great. Actually, I'm gonna hop inside right now, just so you guys can see. Oh, like, I just love being in here, looking out at the view, those trees are from the Champagne region of France and we had them uprooted and imported but this whole forest back here is actually Champagne forest. So every time we have wine here, it's authentic Champagne. All right, as you can see, we're having a bit of a soiree tonight, so you don't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. All right, bye. Oh, hi, MTV, didn't see you there. Take two. Take two. That's all right.